Alright, this is just a little bit more on Starstruck here, the novel that I wrote, as you can see. It's about the system, uh, which is set up against people of God, but it ends up destroying, um, basically, the wicked. Um, that's what I believe the outcome will be. And that's what the Lord uh, showed me in this novel. A lot of the things, I mean, this song, uh, just for a bit of fun, really. I mean, I've written, written a couple of songs uh, for the novel, if it's ever made into a movie. So, kind of still developing these things. But I just wanted to show you uh, a uh, video that I, I saw the other day. Which reminded me a lot about a part of uh, the novel. Here it is. So, without um, going through the entire video, um, he's got pictures here. These craft are several miles in size. Um, I believe it's two of them. And it ended up that they cloaked after about the planet Mars. And it's believed that they're on the dark side of the moon in a crater at the moment. Uh, both of them. And so, how does that relate to the novel that I wrote? It just re reminded me very much of uh, chapter 7. And I just uh, 
even the Lord gave me this uh, chapter as well <laughs> there's no chapter and verses in this novel that I wrote but the Lord's like check chapter 7 and that that's just the one I was I was thinking of is when uh, Callus's uh, ship or the, the the ship called Discovery which is which is a uh, human a ship f from Earth um, in the sci-fi novel and they're sort of uh, as far as I remember they're settling in this um, crater on the moon of a planet called Macrium which is a uh, which when I wrote the novel it was just like a type of Earth it was to tell a story planet's fullness was visible on screen Frank admired the beautiful sight ice caps took up most, almost two thirds of the planet so it's just describing you know the uh, the planet and uh, but the, this is the sort of line I remember Macrium looked like a giant oak tree to Frank still far away from coming into season but ready for pruning <laughs> so I don't know I mean uh, I know in the Bible it talks about the Lord uh, really talks about the the earth as a as a ripe harvest um, and so you you got two choices here you know are are these ships um, sent by the Lord you know are they going to be involved in some type of rapture of the saints which uh, I'm, I don't know <laughs> I really don't know or is it part of the fallen cherub are they Nephilim you know are they to do with some sort of um, um, planned um, invasion of earth and they're just working with uh, you know the earth's sort of corrupt leaderships and they're just waiting on you know their, their time to just come down and it'll just uh, really cause humanity to, to question their religions you know about the conflicts between Judaism Christianity Islam and maybe when these things appear a lot of people might say well it's the blue beam project they're not real but I think that obviously we will find out um, but it's, it's interesting I mean I, I wrote about this the Lord showed me that uh, these things are indeed real there's a physical capacity to these to these ships you know um, they're not just spiritual there is a there is a physical capacity to to many of them you know yes some of them can be fallen angels and and they can um, transform into anything really and they can be both invisible spiritual or physical but the the Nephilim are, are physical beings, you know, they're children of the fallen angels and it's uh, very possible they inhabited different parts of the, the galaxy at one time because it does say in Genesis 6 that there was uh, giants in the earth on those days, the, the days of Noah and also after that and we know that, you know, David killed Goliath we know that the Roman army is going back to about the 3rd century destroyed a lot of Nephilim tribes in Europe and beyond you know, there's, there was many of them uh, destroyed by the conquistadors of Spain and other nations when they reached uh, North America and South America. Um, but, I mean, is, is this just another branch of them or is this, what is this, fallen angels? Is this, uh, obviously could, could be beings from another realm, another dimension. Um, but these, these craft are absolutely huge um, many many miles uh, in size a lot of them and so I'll leave the link to this video below and you can check it out uh, as always thank you for watching and I, I still believe that uh, this book is available for download even though I'm not making money out of it you know some of my critics say oh he's just in this for the money I'm not making a penny out of this book guys I wish I was I mean I, I really need to um, get get a distributor again get another distributor for this book but uh so snake bite basically is the weapon that the the earth-based or macrium based conglomeracy you know they sort of take over the planet and snake bite is the is the weapon that's wrapped around the planet like a snake 
and it's got like uh, weapons and satellites and, and all, all kind of stuff which really protects the planet from anything they don't want <laughs> which to me is like uh, the way the earth is you know because it's, it's uh, Satan's trying to protect himself from you know the Lord's second coming which is impossible it's impossible to do everything's just going to melt you know when the Lord shows up all these weapon systems they got it's just it's, it's just going to melt like wax really but it um, doesn't stop them doing it really the main purpose of it is to control the population you know it's and it's linked with the mark of the beast as you know the satellites on this planet are, are also linked with the mark of the beast um, this is the Black Knight, if you've not heard about that, this satellite is meant to be 13,000 years old. But it, who knows, I mean, how, how have they taken samples of it? How did they know it's 13,000 years old? I mean, it could just be from the, the old world, uh, before Noah's flood, probably, that's what I would guess. So it's probably between about just over 5,000 years old, perhaps. Um, but some people believe in the gap theory and the fact that there was a civilization on the earth before Adam's creation and that's called the gap theory and so that's that's the only reasoning that, that this could be older than uh, five five thousand years old um, but it's there you know it's up there and it's uh, it's a fragment of the old world I believe before the flood and I, I do think they had some form of mark of the beast during those days as well. I do, I, I do believe they had technology that actually is is in advance of what we have today. It was far, it was far more advanced, probably at least I would I would guess about a hundred years more advanced than we have today, because technology has advanced uh, very much in the past hundred years, and I think they're just coming to um, something like what it was during the days of Noah still not as advanced because I mean I've seen dreams and visions about this the Lord has shown me but just look at all the the, the uh, videos that have been made about the Black Knight so obviously most of you guys will be informed about it so God bless guys thanks for watching